Hi, I am Dhanlakshmi, working as an assistant professor in the Department of Mechatronics Engineering at Hindustan College of Engineering and Technology. I am going to take the topic about Mechatronics Design Process. So we know that what is meant by Mechatronics. A mechatronics is a synergetic combination of four disciplines, Electrical, Mechanical, Computer Science and Information Technology. And mechatronics is a methodology used to produce optimal design of electromechanical products. In earlier days, we have developed the electromechanical products using traditional methods, that is, sequential approach. And nowadays, we are using concurrent engineering to produce electromechanical products, that is, mechatronics approach. And we will see that uh, the difference between uh, traditional and mechatronics approach later. And this is the block diagram of mechatronics design process. It includes modeling or simulation, prototyping, deployment or life cycle. First, what is meant by modeling or simulation? So for every uh, electromechanical product, we have to produce the model of the system. So mathematical modeling means we have to develop the model for the particular system or application. It includes the first one is recognition of the need. So what is the need to produce this product? We have to identify. And the next one is conceptual design and functional specification. So we have to identify what are the components present in the model or product and uh, we have to identify the specification of the each component. Next one is first principle modular mathematical modeling. So uh, we divided the system into subsystems, many subsystems. So next we have to develop the mathematical model for each subsystems. And the next one is sensor and actuator selection. For every system, we have input and output. Uh, example for input devices are push buttons, uh, push buttons, uh, switches, sensors, etc. And output devices are uh, actuator, actuator is output device and examples for output devices are uh, LED, LCD, lamp circuiter, motor, generator, etc. So we have to select the sensors and actuator for the particular model. And the next one is detailed modular mathematical modeling. First we have developed the first principle modeler for subsystems. Now um, we have to develop the model for whole systems and combine the subsystems model. And next one is control system design. In concurrent engineering approach, every product must have a controller in it. What is meant by controller is it is used to produce desired output. In automation, controller must be present. So what are the controllers are used in this product? We have to identify. Examples of controller is microprocessor, microcontroller, PIC microcontroller, Arduino controller, Raspberry Pi, etc. And the next one is design optimization. So what are the optimization techniques used in this pro uh, product must be identified. Okay, it is uh, the techniques is used to increase the efficiency of the product. These are the methods under the modeling and simulation category. 
Next one is prototyping. Prototyping includes software in the loop simulation, hardware in the loop simulation and design optimization. Okay. So what is mean by hardware in the loop simulation? Uh, in automation purpose, we, we, we used controller and, uh, and the, the program is uh, embedded in the computer. Okay. So uh, hardware in the loop simulation includes only input and output devices that is sensors and actuators is connected to the computer through communication cables and these also uh, uses optimization techniques to increase the efficiency. Uh, examples for optimization techniques is a fuzzy logic uh, AI artificial intelligence techniques, machine learning techniques, these are the techniques used use to increase the efficiency. And the next one is deployment or life cycle. Life, life cycle includes uh, the cost the cost of the systems and uh, on time delivery, upgradability, reliability, etc. So this is the detailed uh, explanation about the block diagram. First one is modeling. So modeling includes block diagram techniques or uh, visual programming techniques, uh, softwares uh, like uh, LabVIEW, MATLAB, AutoCAD, SOLIDWORKS to design the products. And uh, it is useful to understand the behavior of the model. And simulation, simulation in simulation, numerical methods for solving models containing differential, discrete, hybrid, partial, non-linear as well as linear equations. And it is executing faster than the real-time systems. And the next one is design. So the de design parameters includes uh, many methods, example is Monte Carlo optimization, next analysis, so we are using controller in this product, so that is uh, fre frequency domain, time domain and complex domain and real time interface, I already told that what is uh, hardware in the loop simulation, it includes a plug-in card is used to replace the part of the systems except the input and output devices. Next is design, code generator, code generator is uh, uh, produce the block, the codes, higher high language codes from the block diagram. This is basically in C. Next embedded process interface. So it to produce communication between the computer and the sensor and actuators. So example for communicables, Ethernet, Profinet, Profibus, etc. This is called a full system prototype. So next is the traditional versus mechatronics approach. I already told that traditional approach is a sequential approach. First, the mechanical part of the systems is produced. After that, the control part is added to the systems. So, um, it takes time and uh, produce error. So, we are using nowadays mechatronics approach. In mechatronics approach, all the part of the systems are identified and after that, it was designed. So in traditional approach, it is a bulk system because the many parts are mechanical. Mechatronics approach, it is a compact system. And in traditional approach, it is a complex mechanism because uh, the mechanical part only first designed after that control part is added. But mechatronics approach, it is a simplified mechanism. Because of the absence of uh, 
mechanical part mechatronics approach uh, is a light structure more accurate more flexibility and less components and high accuracy okay but in traditional approach uh, due to the presence of more mechanical parts it is a heavy structure less accuracy less flexibility and more components thank you